John here guys and today I'm here with Chris Rosser's low vibration creation the AOS 5.5 freestyle frame yes last time at the nice spot you may have seen me flying Mr. Steele's favorite the Apex we're gonna see if he was really right on a lot of his assumptions on the AOS 5 this design is uh complex and not very pretty in my own personal opinion just based on looking at it but i'm not gonna hate on it till i fly it i just did hate on it i'm sorry i'm using the fpv cycle motors this is the cadex polar camera which is supposedly very good at night now the 60 frames per second is bothering me with flying fast but if you're just cruising freestyle like this with a nice hero 9 on board it does totally fine now i am flying five inch props even though this is a 5.5 inch frame Ooh, the aos 5.5 check out the sort of wishbone arm i have seen frames designed with a similar sort of truss system and the issue is on a strong head-on impact you're going to snap this because it's a little bit thinner if you snap just the front part this arm is still kind of dead however i think if you're buying this frame for the reasons of it having great frame resonance very low vibration then you may not actually be bando bashing you're probably just fine with this if you look at a frame like the apex you can see how much thicker that arm is and so your strength it's almost double it's like double the thickness but in one spot uh, now Rosser says that this configuration actually helps to distribute some of that impact force now i don't really foresee this being an issue because i'm not an actually a bando basher you do have 30 by 30 here need to install that prior to putting the frame arms in place this is a fairly slammed frame so you're not going to get any three layer tall stacks a vista right there so it's a little bit taller than that you can see there's no wiggle because of the two securing points that's part of what reduces some of that vibration is this truss design you have another set of 20 by 20 mounting at the front and then at the rear also come with some very nicely printed um, arm protectors right here that I will be putting on here stack wise I'm gonna be going with the Z's 20 by 20 stack so we got to ask our expert freestyler Joe mama what he thinks what's your freestyle frame of choice right now mine is apex personally oh, yeah. so mr. Steele had some pretty clear opinions yeah. on on this thing complex and not very pretty in my own personal opinion just based on looking at it but I'm not gonna hate on it till I fly it I just did hate on it I'm sorry What's your first impressions? Having to build it, it doesn't look too okay. bad. It might be a little easier to build than the Apex. Yeah, I mean, it's it's barely slammed. So that's a 20 by 20 and I barely have enough room for battery straps. As long as you don't build too tall, it should be totally fine. Yeah, just a double stack. Tons yeah, of room at the front. tons of room. Good camera protection. I initially thought that the brace at the front was just one long piece, but it's actually two separate pieces joined in the middle. So that means all of this is an arm. Yep. That I'm not too... Yeah, like I wouldn't race on this because yeah. a strong enough fit, you'll plow through both of these. Yeah. But for freestyle... It doesn't look like too complicated a bit. I don't like this style of arm though. A little bit more of a hassle. And these kind of sunk screws down here. They're gonna oh, get stripped. Yeah, if you lose those, yeah. it's time for the hacksaw. Yeah, I've been wanting to try his motors for freestyle. There are good things about them. Like without the GoPro, it was so floaty because it's so powerful. So like, I had to put the GoPro just to like calm it yeah. down a little bit. Yeah, they're pretty high KV too. Like, definitely does feel stiff. Like this thing is. Or would you try to build one of these? Yeah, I would stick with the Apex definitely. <laughs> <laughs> so was Mr. Steel it's just right? More, I like the more traditional looking quads personally. He did say it had like a million screws. And yeah. it does have a lot of screws, but I don't feel like it has many more screws than the Apex. For like an arm swap, no. It looks like it'd be just these two screws. Yeah, so not that bad. No. Yeah. But if you're going to have braces, I feel like it's a, a real big waste to have those braces integrated in with the arms. Because if you break one, then right. you break the other. So not Joe Mama's favorite. No. It's not bad, though. Chris Rosser, the savior of FPV black box logs. It actually came shipped in this iFly packaging, so iFly is cutting prior to this you had to only be able to get the source from your own either cut it on your own CNC machine at home like you would do but if you're like me and don't own one of those you would have to send the files off to CNC madness to get cut now this is sort of an interesting design at first glance when you see it, it doesn't look 
the nicest, I gotta say. It has sort of a vanilla front to back uh, styling. You can't really tell if it's coming or going. If this were the Sandlot, you might say that you taught this frame to walk backwards after you shaved its butt. If my dog was as ugly as you, I'd shave his butt and tell him to walk backwards. But actually in the hand on the bench, it does have quite a few features that you actually do appreciate. You also get that nice arm sandwiched by this little piece in the middle. This one actually has a center stack mounting. The AOS 5 proper only has a stack at the front or the back, which is extremely annoying to me. I really hate having to have short wires on one side and super long wires on the other side. Uh, no, I cannot do it. So this was the one for me, and I am excited though, when you get a little bit more distance away from the props, it should also fly just a little bit smoother. So Vista unit at the back along with Crossfire. Yes, I am still using Crossfire for all of my five inch uh, freestyle. I do have a nice healthy size capacitor mount to this rear arm right here, the Caddx Polar. Now I'm matching that with the initial run FPV cycle Emerald Motors. That's right, this is the 25 millimeter 2200 KV version of motors and I'm gonna be running that on 6S. The arm designs are sort of that floss style arm that already gives you quite a bit of motor protection. Even on an extra wide motor like this, they're very protected with this mount that I printed from Thingiverse. So thanks to the designer of this, Will, something. Well, this is a cool looking frame. Yeah, it's got like changeable arms. I see that. That's nice. Although modern day Betaflight, you really don't get a ton of vibration. And even if you did, you still got hyper smooth. So it's like. Yeah, yeah. But like, you know, the, the, the smoother your quad is, the better your video is going to be. That's true. Yeah. So, and, and, and the better all the Betaflight bells and whistles can operate. Like the less they have to filter out, the better. You use like the the catalyst uh, freestyles for, yep. for long range and freestyle. Yeah, I do. Yeah, and it's a similar. You know, I guess what you're looking for in a good freestyle frame is like is the prop in view of your HD camera. That's a big right, one. Right. So this looks pretty wide. I don't know if it's in view or not, but that'd be good if it wasn't. Uh, plenty of room to put all your gear, and like strong but not stupidly heavy because yeah. the heavier it is, it just kills your flight time. Like. A lot of people say they like heavy quads for like momentum to do certain type of freestyle moves. And I get that too, but like I like to fly longer. So specifically for long range, like you just don't need unnecessary weight. But I'm not really seeing any a lot of unnecessary stuff here. This is a cool frame. Nice. In the end, was Mr. Steel right? When Mr. Steel's video came out, I found I actually agreed with almost everything he said. But what some of my viewers actually pointed out was that I'm usually not critical without giving something a fair shot. And I wouldn't have went on record saying negative things about a product, only having giving it half of a flight pack. After actually building this and flying it several times and seeing just how smooth it is, I do have to say on some of those points, uh, Mr. Steel was wrong and my impressions, initial impressions are wrong as well. Now, I still don't think this is gonna be the ultimate Bando Basher, but I don't think it's designed or marketed to be that. If you do want something that's gonna be ultimately protective of everything in your stack, I'm thinking you may want something like one of these Armitans or one of these Catalyst machine work. But it's not meant to be that. It's not supposed to be the most durable frame on the planet. It's supposed to be the smoothest frame on the planet. And I don't think I've flown anything that's smoother than this ever. This is at least equal to or greater than any one of those. Now, I have to say, I'm not a big stickler for how smooth something is. I've been flying for so long, I'm just used to things that don't fly perfect, and so you adjust your sticks on the fly to get that shot that you want. But this ultimately very low vibration, very low resonance frame makes that easier than just about any other combination on the market. So in that regard, if you want the smoothest thing possible, this thing is a success.
25, interview with you. Right. So, why do you have label on your hat? <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't like removing tags off of things. Did you just, did you just stole it from, from the store and just put it on and came here? It was cold, so yeah. I needed something. It was, un, it was unseasonably cold. Unseasonably I think cold. I actually got this hat two Christmases ago. Okay. It's been in my closet, and I was like, oh my god, it's gonna be freezing at the nice spot. Those of you up north. It's down to the high 40s, I think. Yeah. Um, which is for us, that's like might as well be 30 below zero. Yeah. yeah. It's as cold as it gets. Yeah. So. All right. Well, this is weird. I, I need it. Yeah. Sorry. All right, Neil. We're gonna go up right now. Who's okay. gonna win? Uh, me. All right. Let's yeah. see. All right. Yeah. All right. <laughs>